Imagine if you could generate stunning videos through the use of your simple imagination and keyboard, kind of like this. Well, I'm excited to present to all of you today this new powerful tool of Pika Labs, an all-in-one AI text-to-video software that simply takes your text prompts and generates stunning videos that are completely copyright-free meaning. Here are the two primary ways to sign up for the beta. First, you can sign up through their website. It's a straightforward process where they have you submit a quiz through a type form. It only took me a couple minutes to complete, and if you passed first grade, you should pass with flying colors. Once you submit the form, they will reach back out to you in a week to provide you access. I have gone ahead and put their website link in my description so you can check it out after this video, or you can follow the second method which was significantly quicker for me. The second method is probably the simpler of the two and involves you reaching out to them on Twitter through a personal DM, requesting access and providing them your email. This method took me about two days, rather than a week, to gain access, which honestly, for someone as eager as me, was much more worth it. Their Twitter handle will be in the description as well. While you wait for your access, here's how to use Pika Labs. Similar to Midjourney, you can take a look at our video of Midjourney in the description. It uses Discord. When you get access, they will send you a link to their Discord, so make sure to constantly refresh your inbox and keep a lookout for that email. You can also double check by looking in your spam or junk folders. Here's what their Discord looks like. There are loads of channels, but the primary ones we want to focus on are announcements, getting started, and generate. The announcements are what it sounds like. Important information for the community regarding Pika. Especially with it still being in beta, I'm expecting lots of updates to help improve the tool. I'm super excited, and I already have loads of ideas on how to use this to make my life easier, like creating simple b-roll, or even uploading interesting shorts for this channel, so keep an eye out. Going right above the announcements channel, we have the getting started section. This channel will help outline how to use the bot. I would recommend everyone to take a look at this channel as soon as you get accepted and fully grasp what each setting does. For example, there are aspect ratio settings and negative settings that are super helpful when generating the videos you want. The next channel, or I guess channels, is the Generate section. There are about five separate channels for everybody to use, so just randomly choose one. I'll be choosing Generate one, and as you can see, if you scroll around, there are a ton of people's attempts at creating videos. This is great when you want to draw inspiration and see what prompts they used. So let's get to generating. Let's say we want some B-roll clips from a coffee shop for my upcoming video. Similar to mid-journey, we type slash create prompt, then type out our prompt. An indoor coffee shop. By default, the videos are in a 16-9 aspect ratio, which is what I want. But we could also change it by using the AR setting. Let's say we want to create a YouTube short, which is in the 9-16 aspect ratio. Type R916. Kinda like this and just hit enter. I won't be doing it, but you get the idea. Delete R916. So now we've sent our request, the bot will get to generating. It's going to take a few minutes, so let's take a look at a few of the other people's video. Alright, it looks as if the videos are done, and I'm honestly not too sure if I like it. But before we re-render, let's open up a separate thread so we can make it just visually easier for us. To do so, just go up into the right-hand corner and click the Create Thread button. Type in some random words and name it something like Rayo. Once we've done that, right under Generate One, we should be able to see the thread Rayo and a completely separate channel. So now I'm going to regenerate, like last time. Slash create prompt an indoor coffee shop. Time to wait. Like many of these new softwares, it could take loads of tries to find that perfect one that calls out to you, and especially with these renders taking a while, it could get a bit tedious, but hopefully they'll be able to quicken the process through their updates. All right, this one looks a lot better. But now let's say I want to generate a video from an image that I have. Yes, you heard me right, you can do that. Slash create prompt, then to the right there is a plus one more. It doesn't seem like a button, but if you click onto it, there is an image option and you'll be able to upload a photo. I actually took a photo of my local coffee shop, so I'm just going to import it into the image section. Once we do, let's enter into the prompt, a local coffee shop that is peaceful. But I also don't want the video to be blurry and I want it to be a lot sharper. So after my prompt, I'm going to hit comma and add sharp focus and high quality and add neg blurry. Once we hit generate, the video should be less fuzzy and sharper, but sometimes it doesn't work, so it's all just a trial and error process. So now we've got the video, here's the final results. I'm actually quite impressed with this tool, 
Of course, there are loads of things that need to be fixed, like faster generating times and making videos a lot higher in definition, but like all new AI tools, it'll take some time to fully enhance. So all we can do right now is be excited for upcoming updates and utilize what we have right now. I'm really enjoying researching and creating videos on these tools for you guys, and so long as new tools are coming out, I'll be here making top grade content for my subs, hopefully making some of your lives easier. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to catch my next video. It'll be a game changer.